says. I'm just recording it. Okay. So today's uh, today's uh, session. Sorry, can I just ask in terms to go on mute, please? Uh, so can I? Today's session is uh, for everyone's benefit. Is how to use Oracle VM templates in your implementation. All right. And the reason for okay. it is sometimes you may have, you don't have the hardware, you don't have the software, and you don't have the time to build Oracle environments for your demo systems. All right. So I, 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 just to give you who am I, my name is Ahmed Jassat. Uh, I've been in the IT industry for over 15 years. I've been a speaker at the South African Oracle user group. Uh, and uh, I have mentored and, uh, you know, trained clients around South Africa. Um, and I'm a very proactive person. And my goal is to mentor people and train people so that they can be successful in their Oracle implementation. Uh, so understanding today can, you know, give us success tomorrow. Before I continue, I think there's someone there that's not on mute and uh, making a lot of noise, man. Can I just ask everyone to go on mute, please, man? Besides the Angola team, please, man. Uh, so why I set up this presentation is, uh, I would like to make all the apps DBA's jobs easier. Uh, I enjoy working in the Oracle world, uh, and it's very important that we are all proactive and also improving the quality of work. I mean, if we are successful in our projects, we just make the customer more successful. And when the customer more is more successful, the customer invests more in uh, Oracle technologies, you know? Uh, so my goal today is Installation of Oracle Virtual Appliance of EBS Suite 1249, All right? So after this presentation, you will be able to download and install a vision demo system, All right? Uh, Ahmed, Ahmed. Yes? Sorry to interrupt, yeah, we, uh, we cannot understand what you're saying. There's a, a problem with the problem connection. Okay, so what I will do is I am recording the session. After the okay. session, I will upload it onto YouTube and send you the link. Okay, thank you. So you can just uh, be on mute and then try the best to hear what, what, uh, what I'm trying to say. So, after the session, you will be successfully installing. Let me see if I can mute everyone. Uh, let me see where is this noise coming from. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, now it's much more clearer. Yeah. So, after the session, you will be able to download and install on your laptop or on your server at work a fully fledged Oracle Vision environment, which is the latest version, which is 12.09. And the reason being is Oracle, if you go to the next slide, have emphasized now that going forward, they are going to invest and support and allow customers to buy software from the on-premise on system. So if you don't want to go to the cloud, right, you are now able to buy Oracle software and run it on your premises, right? So for the interns and for us partners, we have lots of challenges implementing and supporting Oracle technologies. First of all is we don't have hardware, uh, second of all, we don't have the operating system. Third, we have to download multiple software. Number four, the prerequisites of setting up the implementation takes a lot of time. Number five is we don't have time because we have to support multiple customers and we have to be billable. 
And number six is we now need to engage with a hardware admin. So what is the goal of this? The goal is to install using Oracle Virtual Appliances for EBS Suite 1249. Now you may ask, why must I install this on my laptop or on a desktop that I have at the office or on the servers that I'm running at the office? The benefits are tremendous and, you, and there's too many to mention, but these are the benefits that I've outlined and I've seen them over the years is one, it's a training benefit. So if a new version of the database gets released, if a new version of a feature gets released, all right, you will see the benefits in training yourself and uplifting your skills. Number two is the proof of concept. That means if you have a client and you want to show them Oracle technologies, this is your opportunity to proof of concept or else they call it the POC at your client. So you don't have to spend hours downloading software, hours installing software, hours patching software. Now you can use these virtual templates, which is a fully populated database, install it on your laptop, or on a desktop at your client, or on a server at your client, you have a system up and running in less than two hours. Number three is used for testing new features. Oracle, every release uses, uh, releases new features. And what we find is that clients do not use those new features. The reason being is clients don't get trained on the new features. Now, on your laptop, you can install this virtual image and test the Oracle features. Number four is for demo purposes. That means if you want to give a demo to a client, if you want to give a demo to our colleagues at the office, if you want to grow some skills or mentor and develop people, this is the tools to use that Oracle has provided us. Number five, we know we, we, we spoke of, of this all the time, it's skills development. And I want to emphasize on this, people, is if we all in this session implement Oracle successfully, clients then trust Oracle and spend more on Oracle. But if our implementations fail, the only people to blame is us, the consultants. So we have to make sure, not on a yearly basis, but on a monthly and weekly basis, we all develop our skills to be product experts, right? Then number six, the last thing is testing Oracle functionality. It's very, very important that each of us should know our Oracle functionality, right? And be the best consultants out there in knowing our product. Right? So those are the benefits. Now the requirements to install this VM, this virtual image. All right, your download space that you need is only 70 gigs. Your unzip space you need is only 100 gigs. Your OVA file that you will create once you download the software is 70 gigs. Your installation, the total size is only 274 gigs. And the memory is 15 gigs. Now what you will see is that people that this year can be easily achieved by any laptop or desktop at your office. Now you get started and you want to know is, what is Amma talking about this VM image? And if you look at the, the software that this VM image includes, is the entire stack of the Oracle stack. So if you can start with the database, you have the latest Supported version, okay, I know the latest version out there is 19 and 18C, but the latest version which are used by the applications, which is 12.102. Your application code level is release 12.29. Your forms and reports version is 10.123. Your web logic server is 10.36. Your web tier is 11.19. Your Java development kit is JDK 1.7. Your Java plugin that you will use is 1.7. Your critical patch updates, that means the security patch updates used is 
July 2019. So it is the latest critical patch update available. All right. So if you download, you may ask that I'm a DBA, why must I install this entire stack? The reason being is you, it's easy to install and you don't have to use the other components. You can only use the database, do your testing of the features of a database. If you are a developer, you don't have to use the other features. You can only use the forms and reports or the JDK. And if you're a web logic admin and you don't want to use the other products in the, in the stack, you can only connect to the web logic server and test your functionality. So this brings a 360 degree, right? Benefit for you as a consultant or a trainee or an intern or a partner to go out and learn the Oracle software. So how do you start this? You first go hop on to a website, which is edelivery.oracle.com. As long as you are registered on oracle.com, you have full access to e-delivery. Once you're on e-delivery, you search for Oracle VM virtual appliances for EBS suite. All right, so if I can, if I can go there and show you how easy is it, you just go to edelivery.oracle.com. It's the software downloads for all software. So whatever software you need at any client or any project, you just go to edelivery.oracle.com. You sign in there. You use your single sign-in and you log in. Right, and it comes to this page. And here, you just have to search for Oracle Virtual Appliance for EBS Suite. And it picks up that and you choose the one, virtual appliances, and you can see, there we go. There's all the different versions, 12 1.3, 12 2.3, 12 2.6, 12 2.7, 12 2.8, 12 2.9. So if you're working on a client, sorry, let me just close this here. So, so if you're working on a client and that client only has a version of 12, 12, 12 to 7, you just have to download 12 to 7. But now this presentation is for the latest version, which is 12 to 9. Then you click on add to chart. And if you now want to check out, you can say view chart and check out it will say this is what you're downloading oracle virtual appliances appliance for 12209 unfortunately there's only one version which is for linux x86 because you're going to put it onto your windows box and you're going to use oracle virtual manager to import you click on continue it will ask you for the oracle standard you know agreements that you have to you have to think and you click on continue and there is all the software there that it will download onto your laptop as you can see it downloads oracle ebs suite 12209 single environment a vision install system what does a vision install system mean it's a database with populated data that you can do all your testing on right so we go back to the presentation and in the presentation, you see we downloading that. While that is downloading, you need to go to virtualbox.org, which is owned, which Oracle has, has bought out and is one of the companies of Oracle. And you download the latest virtual box. All right, so you download the latest virtual box, right? Once the software have been, uh, and there we go, there's VirtualBox 6 owned by Oracle. You can download VirtualBox and just open it on your desktop. Once the software files are downloaded, 
you unzip them into a separate location. Once they are unzipped, you then merge them into a single OVA file. What I have done is I have, cre I have placed in this presentation the syntax for the OVA file. All right? Once the OVA file has been successfully created, you do this in command prompt. So you go start, run, CMD, and then you copy and paste this command as long as you're in the same directory where all the files are. All right. Then you go on to your virtual box, Oracle Virtual Manager. On your PC, you go to machine settings and you change the version to Ubuntu 64 right like the screen below you then choose your ova image and you click on import right the import takes about two hours to complete right once it's completed it will come back to this dialog box there and you can see from this box you as a DBA, a developer, a consultant can create multiple virtual boxes, you know, virtual images. And we at our current clients are running production environments using Oracle Virtual Manager. And then you just have, to, if you're not using a DNS server, that means if this, if you're, if you're not using a server, but you're using it on your PC, you click on machine settings, uh, then you select network option on the left. You then click on network adapter to show it that you're using the network adapter. Uh, you then enable the checkbox and you click on OK. And then you go into virtual box again. You right click on the Oracle EBS and you say start. And you can see from this screen, it starts starting up the linux first you can see the oracle linux 6.9 once it starts up it will ask you for your root password your oracle password and your appl mgr password because this is a vision system it will then go and start configuring the database and connect to the database and configure the database it will then go and run what the steps that it needs to configure the system on the application we call it auto config uh, that's on the left hand side and on the right hand side you can see it shuts down the db for you and it will restart up the db after that then just some useful scripts that you need in your knowledge base is uh, to start your application you go to cd slash user one install app scripts and you use the script start db.sh to start the database and for the application you use start apps.sh to start the application all right uh, then because if you are using it on your local pc or if you are using it on a desktop that doesn't hasn't been registered on your dns server you will have to go to your client connecting and include in your Windows ETC host file your IP address and your IP address and apps.oracle.com because it creates that virtual image as apps.example.com. Right? And then you connect, you type in apps.example.com colon 8000 and you get the logon screen. And from the logon screen, you can then go and work on the home page or any other functionality that you would need and go forth what's nice about this is once you create the ova file that ova file is literally your image so you can go and test functionality and if it doesn't work you delete the ova file and if there's problems you re-import the ova file so you don't have to worry that are you breaking a development environment or are you affecting other developers? This is your own sandpit you can create for your environment. And one of the reasons why we demo it to 
our colleagues and partners in Angola is, when I was speaking uh, uh, to our colleague in Angola, he asked that, you know what, we want to present a mock, uh, a vision demo system uh, to our customer. And that's why I said, instead of spending hours building on it, uh, you can now go and just run, download the demo from Oracle and install it. So guys, in theory, that was my quick and short presentation. Uh, I have, uh, my motto is taking challenges and issues and turning them into opportunities. Uh, please do visit my website, our website, edgemcs.co.za. Uh, and we have, and my YouTube page is over there on YouTube, just search for Ahmed Jassad. But now I open up uh, the call to any questions that you people may have. Any questions from Angola? Ahmed, thank you for the presentation. Um, 